Hi everybody, this is Brittany and this is another episode of Weight Loss to Burn Boss. You guys, I am coming before you. I am so excited to do this um, weigh-in. It has been another month and the last weigh-in I believe was our 90-day weigh-in and so now we are on 120 days of intermittent fasting and let me tell you it has been a very interesting month to say the least. I have pushed myself um through fasting in ways that I never have before in my life. And I believe that I have gotten excellent results. So before we get into it, if you are new here, my name is Brittany and I am a burn boss and I'm inviting you to be a burn boss as well. On this channel, you will find information about intermittent fasting, keto, low carb dieting, and also you will see a documentation of my 150 pound weight loss journey. If you need weight loss motivation, if you need weight loss support, and if you are looking for information about IF or keto, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join the Burn Boss family and become one of my accountability partners. We are doing it over here and I am so grateful and I am so excited. All right, guys. So I have to report, I believe that the last time I weighed in, um, I was 255 pounds. I believe that I was 255 pounds. Correct me if I'm wrong because I believe that I said, hey, you guys, guess who entered the new year? 45 pounds lighter. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. Okay. So I am here to report to you today that not only did I enter 2021 45 pounds later, but I'm here to report that on January 19th, which is my weigh in every 19th of the month, I weigh myself um, to see my progress. I am so grateful to report. Uh, that I am now 200 and drum roll please 238 pounds you guys Honey, your girl don't know how to act. Do you hear me? Your girl does not know how to act. I am 238 pounds. That means I have lost a total of 62 pounds because when I started this journey, I was 300 pounds and now I'm 238 pounds. You're telling me that I am only 39 pounds from being in a wonderland? Guys, it has been such a crazy journey, y'all. It is. It has been filled with perseverance, diligence, pressing myself to new disciplines. It's been hard. You know, when you have spent basically your entire life eating what you want, eating whenever you want, eating how you want to totally change your life around is no easy feat. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is not easy. And to see that the sacrifice and the hard work, because this is this is not a walk, skip, and a jump. You know, yes, my cravings have curbed. No, I'm not hungry. But when you're used to doing something all of your life, just a couple of months of doing something different doesn't all of a sudden just take those habits out of your mind. I miss bread. <laughs> I miss sugar. And yes, I will have it again one day, but I am really pressing 
to be somewhere that I've never been before, to do something I've never done before. I have never been under 200 pounds in my adult life, and I want to be. I desire that. So that means I got to give up some fleshly pleasures so I can obtain what I know I deserve. You know what I'm saying? So no, I don't have these crazy cravings where, you know, I feel like I'm just going to pass out if I don't have, you know, a Reese's peanut butter cup or, you know, have a hot buttered croissant. Yes, I miss those things, but I want to be healthy more. I want to look better in my clothes more. You know what I'm saying? So to have lost 62 pounds is incredible. I celebrate it, but I also stay sober because I do have a long way to go. And I'm not even at the halfway mark that I want to be. I want to lose 150 pounds. So that means 75. 75 pounds weight loss would only be a halfway mark. Will I celebrate it? Yes. Will will I be grateful for what I've achieved? Yes. But I won't allow that to um, slow me down from the true goal, right? To the ultimate goal, right? All of these um, little goals are so I can stay in the moment and celebrate the present moment because tomorrow isn't promised, but my eyes are still fixed on the ultimate goal, and that is 150 pounds weight loss. So if I lost, um, if I came in the new year weighing 255 pounds, and now I am 238 pounds, somebody do the math for me. Y'all know me and math don't do <laughs> don't do well. I believe that that's what. That's not quite 20. So 55 to 45, that's 10. 45 to 35 would be 20. So that is 38, 37, 36, 35. So subtract four from 20, right? So I lost 16 pounds. Is that what it is? Please, please don't drag me in the comments. I beg of you. <laughs> I beg of you. <laughs> okay, so if I did, in fact, lose 16 pounds um, during this month of January, only in 19 days, um, then, because I believe from the last way in, I was 260 five pounds. So what does that mean? I lost 26 pounds in the month, something like that. Either way, it has, it, I haven't lost that type of weight since the first month. And we know that the first month, um, that you start any type of diet and eating plan, especially if you're morbidly obese, like I am, then you know that you're going to lose a lot of weight in the first month. And then as you continue, the weight decreases. But healthy weight loss is between um, a half a pound, no more than three pounds a week, depending on your starting weight. So this is absolutely incredible. This is amazing. Um, and I'm excited. So for the first time, I had a keto treat. Um, I had that yesterday and it was my first time. Now I had been staying away from, um, sugar and I haven't had any sugar, high fructose corn syrup or anything like that. But I did have keto ice cream and I had a slim fast, um, I had a Slim Fast Fat Bomb, the peanut butter chocolate. And those, of course, have sugar substitutes. I think one had stevia in it and the other one had monk fruit in it. And um, I did Enlightened Ice Cream. You know what? I'll do a review on it. 
Um, I'll do a separate review for those items as far as keto, low carb snacks, because the Enlighten only had one um, gram of net carbs in it. And it was actually really delicious. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I, I was super excited to have it. Um, I don't think that I will go back to actual sugar, white processed sugar, honey, or any of those things like that just yet. I think I want to wait until I hit my goal and begin maintaining before I um, dive into those things, right? Or go back to breads and stuff. I have not had any bread. I haven't had rice. I haven't had pasta, not even... Um, I even I haven't even had like the the car, carb smart items like that either. Just for me, I know that I can and I know that I could in moderation, especially since I'm also doing OMAD, which is one meal a day, and that is the type of intermittent fasting where you fast between 20 to 23 hours a day, and then your eating window is between one to four hours a day and I've been doing that. Um, and I know that I could have it because I could take in those type of calories a day, but you know, when you've been an addict for a, as long as I have, you know, you you have to listen to your body and, and my body is saying you're not ready yet. So I'm, I'm not going to take any cheat days. You know what I'm saying? Now I'll have a keto treat, a fat bomb or something. I've told myself that maybe if I want to, I'll have one on Sundays, you know, after my family, you know, has worship service, you know, we like to come and we like to have family dinner, eat a good meal and things like that. And then they like dessert. So maybe I'll have that as my dessert. But as far as real ice cream, real Reese's peanut butter, I, I'm full. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't even want it. Don't even bring it close to me. My family, they had pecan chocolate chips, traditional chocolate chip cookies. I mean, and they were smelling good and fresh baked. And, and I went over there and I smelled them and I picked up one and put it back down. And you know, normally if I allow it to contact my other senses, I'm good. Um, like even now my sister, um, Angela Bell, um, her YouTube channel is She Living. And she makes, she has a whole chocolate collection of lip glosses, oils, body scrubs, things like that. So this lip oil smells like, it smells like chocolate. You know what it reminds me of? Do y'all remember um, Cocoa Puffs? Chocolate Cocoa Puffs? That's exactly what it smells like. So I like to put it. Cause chocolate is my favorite love chocolate because i am chocolate and i like to put it on my lips and and i like to smell it all day <laughs> don't come for me in the comments i said i said don't come for me in the comments but you know things like that and that actually curbs cravings for me i know it's weird but it it does curb my cravings. Um, so I'm going to insert um, before and after pictures. I'm going to show you where I started, um, where I was, and where I am now, okay? So I thank you so much for joining me. Stay tuned for the pictures. And remember, we are in this together. So let's burn, baby, burn. I want you to put in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. Chocolate. <laughs> I love you guys.